what's new in Africa. Last time we talked here on African Guides for Kids show, we talked about uh, what's new in Africa. And one of the things is just we learned that most of the kings have really raised up to be kings. They have raised, they have risen, they have risen, they have risen. We have now known how much of Africa can do to the world. Guess what? We are having a, a conversation on uh, uh, without Africa, by the way, there is no existence, not only of the Africa as a continent, but there is no existence of the whole world. Imagine, like it or not, that's how it is. There is no way that the world can really exist without Africa. And guess what? It's so sad that the most powerful uh, continent tends to be put down for quite a while now yeah but what i can say is that we are really waking up and like i say most of our leaders have really have really woken up like they have risen they have just known oh wow this is what we have and there's no way these people will be taking advantage of us and they'll be uh, they'll be taking advantage of us yet telling the, the rest of the world that we are the weakest Unfortunately, most of these uh, books that a lot of children were really brought up with for the last couple of years is that they always told about the weakness of Africa. How Africans can never be, can never grow, can never, they are, they, they are, they are just, like I would put it, they are good for nothing. But we all know that Africa for the reason kings and for the information that you're getting right now is that africa without africa the world is dead why because we are sources and i keep on continuing uh, saying and repeating every every other day the africa uh, the continent africa is a source and is, is a resource of so many things but that is not the thing that we are listening today it's not what we are learning today what we are saying today is asking ourselves, apart from how do you feel being an African, what is that one thing that you've known about Africa? Today, what's new in Africa? The other thing we said about last time, it's because of the agriculture. It was a point whereby we have to know that we Africans have a lot of resources. Resources, it doesn't mean that we have to have ready, ready made things. It's that a lot of raw materials that come up to the rest of the world come from Africa. May it be those iPhones that you're using. May it be that uh, hair that you're plating on your head. May it be those cabbages or that coffee that you're drinking or that tea or um, those diamonds rings that you are having. But they, do you know that 80%? I know you know, but I'm going to still insist that 80%, actually it's 90% of gold in the whole world comes from Africa. Did you know that? And that's why is uh, we, 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 we tend to say that we should really focus on our continent. We should, completely, we should completely focus on our continent. Our continent in this way that we try to grow, to grow up and grow in Africa. Might be a question of why do some of us get out of, out of the continent? We all know that sometimes with the leadership, it's not as we wish. It's not like, you know, how one would ever think about, um, you know, being, having the right leadership. But if we just come within, you know, if the country cannot build you, you can build the country. And by building the country, you have to build yourself. And now you build yourself, you build the country, you build the continent. And guess what? We are going to stick to where we belong. And that is on a higher level. Last time we talked about agriculture. We talked about um, how people uh, how people tend to go to the towns on the or the urban areas to go and find uh, to go and look for you know for for work. Yet you've left the real work out there. You know the thing about agriculture is that not only are you going to create employ employment for yourself, is that you're going to um, you're going to you're also going to give uh, give employment, yeah, because 
giving employment is that you know for example you want to plant some potatoes you have to get those seeds you have to get those manures if not natural resources like um the waste of uh, the you know the the cows the sheep you know no if not that then you can as you can always get uh you, you can you have created a if you go to go and get your manure the artificial ones the ones that are created out there you've created a job for that person not only that maybe you might need someone to come and help you to plow or do whatever it is you have created a job not only that is that you have also given yourself food like i said the other day i went to africa my god the food itself it's just like buying three pairs of trousers like seriously like i'm serious this is how much expensive the food has become you know and that is one thing that africa actually is getting to a new um level that's new in africa that things get to be expensive you know like everything basically everything is expensive despite i know the whole world is actually we are whole in we are in a crisis or something but in africa should be the last place things to be expensive to be expensive why because we have everything we have everything at the backyard at the backyard i mean we have everything within and we are around surrounding us you know so agriculture guys guys are coming up with agriculture i learned a lot of people I, I i i met a lot of people doing agriculture and you could see how much they have really focused on being employers being self employed and it just helped um it just did a lot of uh need a lot of management which they were comfortable with it what does that tell you is that even managing yourself you can manage and what do you think about that we are going to ask one question now what is the new africa helping you or what are you focusing on right after this break the listeners agree the message is clear The best radio station to listen to this year. It's the best. It's the best. It's the best music. The best tunes. Cuz they got the best music. Live from Stuttgart City, Germany. 99.2 Radio RFM. Your home of African music. We play only your choice. Switch on. Listen to my favorite radio stations. Hey, I'm Sinashe. This is Papa Dennis Le Grand Mkulukulu, Mwana wa Zambia. This is Flame Nation. Hashtag Flame Nation. Flame Nation. Bringing you the best African vibes from Nairobi, Kenya. Welcome to Kenya, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. When giving us an intro kidogo. Hey, my name is Roberto. Oh, yes. Engaging. Um, unapata uh-huh. when an old man is dating a, a young girl. Yeah. There is no issue. Not like, at all. There is no taboo like it's fine. Also there is ukata. Listen. It's dating. DJ CC. This he has getting me critical. Me go a bad boy ever since standard to shabree. Yo Jonathan. Now can it be to nakupigia different. Just real. Na tosha. Don't stand the people who are quick to judge others. When it comes to a fine mama dating a young a young man it is an issue wewe ngoje ile siku itakupata umekaukiwa utajua hautataka kujua nini Yes sir. The, the meantime, Mziki bado tunasonga nalo. Take it, take it. Daddy Yankee, you remember this guy? Give me the tune. This is Flame Nation. Flame Nation. Flame Nation. Yes, that is Radio R 99.2 FM, home of African music. Talking of home of African music, guys maybe being told that they're still going uh, pushing forward to be to 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 be to, to get to what they want and that is what i see with the with the new today it's just very super incredible on how people are you know the young people are really coming up and uh we have also seen people thriving like they're really fighting and they are not letting anything anything that is not 
anything less than uh, achievements, not letting them to go down. No, 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 no. They have said, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And um, we have seen them being recognized. And for that, talking of recognition, we are going to go with on the 21st of October, before I forget, is something called the Afro News 2023 Awards Girl Night. For those who are watching me, or for those who are listening to us through Facebook, you can see that we are having a gala night here in Germany. It's called Afro Awards Celebrity and uh, cel um, Afro Awards, Afro News Awards. Um, having a gala night on the 21st of October here in Germany. They are dealing with Afro News Awards, celebrating and recognizing the outstanding achievements of Africans in Germany. Did I tell you? But before we continue, before we get deeper into that. <laughs> Yes, that is Racy. Y'all can remember Racy with her waist. Aish, that girl used to shake it with the song Moto Moto featuring French Boy. Yes, to our listeners across the world from east, west, north, and south of Africa to Europe, Stuttgart City, Germany, Afro News 2023 Awards Gala Night is coming up on the 21st October. Yes, remember it's a way of celebrating and recognizing the outstanding achievements of Africans in Europe and as your home of African music we shall wish to invite you to come along and celebrate with us for reservation make sure to just go on the tickets uh for the tickets and uh for them you can check it out on www.afronews.de or email the gmb promotions and musicians dot o r g or just go to www.cradio.com for more information remember stuttgart vibelingen is the place to be <laughs> Yes, and that's why I'm talking about the Africans getting there. And that's why we are getting to recognize each other on this 21st of October this year on the Afro News 2023 Awards Gala Night. Not only that, not only here in Germany, in Africa, in Asia, in America, everywhere. I'm going to tell you one thing. We recognize your hard work. We recognize your great work. We recognize your achievements yes on the african guides for kids show that's why we are going to go more on that remember to join me next saturday with the african guides for kids show and tell me what you think about that i know i have somebody just told me you just ask us what we feel about africa don't forget don't, 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 what we feel about being africans don't worry next week we are together dealing with it and you're going to tell me more on how you feel african i can see a lot of you have written we are going to get on that next time i'm going to start with your comment where we are going to start with that and we are going to get on more and talk more about that this is radio r 99.2 FM, home of African music. <laughs> 